once you have all the parts cut and lined up we'll need one of these with two male male ends these are both male male ends if we have fittings with a male and female end which I don't have here um, we won't need the joiner once we have all our parts lined up all our ends are nicely deburred we have our primer and we have our glue what we can do then what we need to do then is prime all our parts depending on what you've got this is a sponge that holds a lot of primer we don't need a terrible lot it's pink prime all our parts what the primer does it just makes the glue stick better cleans up the the joints make sure everything's nice and clean so we get the best possible joint on the glue one of these needs to be primed and glued both sides the part that sticks up we don't need any glue in that or primer so we only need one side done and of course our pipe okay we have all our parts primed up remember one of these the 90 degree fittings the bit that sticks up where the water collects we do not need that prime or glue so try and keep that one end of this free okay the glue dries reasonably quickly so what we need to do uh, sorry the primer the primer dries reasonably quickly so when we get the glue we need a fair amount of glue but not a flood we do need to glue we do need to glue both sides so we want what I like to do the part that goes over put a little bit more on that I'll show you why in a sec put that one down need to be fairly quickly move, need to move fairly quickly once we've got that we put this together straight away that actually needs to be twisted when we put that on we turn that what that does it spreads the glue nicely make sure we get a really nice joint now that's already I can't move that already so it's already glued and it's tight okay We can then come and glue these ones. As I said before, I like to put more on the inside rather than the, the outside. The reason being there, there's not much glue that squeezes out okay I've twisted that that's already stopped if I put a lot of glue on that okay and press that in all the glue will come it will squeeze out if I put a lot of glue on a bit more glue on the inside the excess 
squeezes out to the inside so it just looks neat it doesn't matter it just looks neater okay now this one I need to put together now when this is set and we have our pipe coming in here okay I'll leave that out for a sec the water level will be level with that as we can see it's it's about there okay which means animals have got a reasonably long way to reach to get the water if we tilt that a little bit so that this flange here is just slightly above this area here it means that water level will end up coming down round about here which makes it much easier for the smaller animals to get water without falling in and also what it does if they do fall in they can get out easy if we don't do that if we have them straight and especially the 100 mil sewer pipe some fittings are a U so we don't need to, to join these together it's, it comes as one piece okay we can do one of two things we can cut this off cut this level down a little bit or we can tilt we can tilt the whole lot at an angle okay so that the water level will still be level with this top section here but now because it's at an angle it now comes down much lower so that's how we can set them up on a straight one okay we set that up at an angle for these straight ones if we set that up like that at that angle it's much better for the smaller animals big animals can still get in there um, your kangaroos, your wombats, they can still um, won't have any trouble getting in there I find it's just a better design we don't need to put any sticks in, we don't need to put any wire in if it's like that uh, so they can get out so my, my preferred method is that and we can just eye that up if you happen to go too far it just means we need to tilt this pipe back up a little bit okay so we'll glue the rest of this need to remember when you're joining them make sure you twist them so that that glue spreads around nicely I'm just going to sight that up by eye uh, about that angle there something like that okay last one Join that together and make sure you, you twist that so that it spreads the glue. You can see by putting more joint in the male side, okay, I've put that together and there's very little excess glue that's, that squeezes out. Okay, and that's our water station made with the end on.
That's the best way to how to fill the water stations. If we just get a hose, lay the water station down, fill that up. I've already got a little bit of water in here. So once that's once that's full, we can see the water. All we need to do then is lift that up and the water will take its own level and we haven't filled the drop.